Okay, new kid, you ready to come play another game? Come on, Butters, let's go, Stan! Snow day, everyone! No ski! Within the game, it's a snow day. One of the saddest casualties of the pandemic. Yeah. It really is one of the Now they just things. go, oh, we're going to remote learning. Fuck that remote learning now. Just bring back the snow days. Yeah. Hey, new kid! New kid, I'm talking to you! There you are! Come on, new kid! Put your shit on! It's a snow day, dude! The first time we made an RPG with that first game was the, the idea of like, oh, well, then let's make it the, a new kid to town. So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. As we did more games, it just was like, oh, let's just always make it the new kid. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero new kid, so fuck off, okay? And even now that this game isn't even really an RPG, we love still using that voiceless, sort of blank slate character. Great job, new kid. Gather your spoils of victory and get going. It's sort of like the same way that Kenny dies every, every show. It's like the new kid's just this thing that kind of just always resets and going, you're that kid, you're whatever kid you are in your head that moved to South Park and did whatever. So, as you can see, we've had to make some changes to the game because some asshole who we won't name decided to become all powerful and ruin the stick of truth because then everyone wanted to be all powerful and nobody could die anymore. Cartman's always really frustrated with the new kid because the new kid's always screwing up the games. Finish the quest, get powered up, and stop embarrassing me. If you can't deal with one fucking archer, maybe you could get a friend who can. So much more fun to have Cartman look at you and get mad at you and not mad at Stan. Yeah, yeah. You're playing Stan, or, you, yeah. or you're Kyle and you're getting the Kyle treatment. It's just way funnier they're looking at you. Have a good time with your friends. The other reason why the new kid's great is because you can create yourself with the avatar builder. For me, with RPGs, I really like when the character is nameless and unknown and doesn't even talk. I was gearing up my army to get to him and force him to talk to me to see what he was up to. But then the new kid came and got in the way. Wow, nice going, new kid. Trey hits when people put words in his mouth, in his character's mouth. <laughs> you know, it's just that thing, when I'm playing video games and I create my character and do whatever and what I look like and everything, and then the game starts and it goes, I'm gonna go over here and do that thing. I'm like, I don't talk like that. Come on, new kid, put your shit on. Come on, butter, let's go, Stan. Snow day, 